From Tulsa, Oklahoma, this is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning, I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm here at Skelly Field at H.A. Chapman Stadium, Case Athletic Complex on the University of Tulsa, and I have an opportunity to get to broadcast a couple of big games in the state of Oklahoma a little bit later on today. Right now, though, we're talking about football, we're talking volleyball in Division II in NAI, so let's get to that really quickly. Volleyball, by the way, the playoffs in Division II have already gotten underway. There was a big upset in Kearney, Nebraska on Thursday night. Harding came in, and in five sets, the only unranked team in the Central Region bracket defeated the top seed in the Central Region. It was Harding in five sets over Nebraska Kearney, and the Lopers end the season at 33-3. and Also in first round games, uh, Minnesota Duluth defeated Central Missouri, swept the Jennies. Uh, Washburn went on, got the win, as did Concordia St. Paul. So it was Harding taking on Concordia St. Paul, and the perennial national champion took down the Lady Bisons in four sets on Friday. It's Concordia St. Paul in the final, moving on, to take on Washburn as the Ichabods defeated Minnesota Duluth in four sets as well. Actually, I believe swept that contest. So that is the Central Region Final. The Midwest Region Final in Division II looks like this. It's going to be Lewis taking on Rockhurst. Lewis defeated Drury in four sets on Friday as the Panthers got their first NCAA tournament win in volleyball, able to take down the eight seed Hillsdale, not as fortunate against GLVC foe Lewis. So it'll be Lewis against Rockhurst. Rockhurst defeated Illinois Springfield in four sets in the first round and then went on to defeat Ferris State in five sets. Now that's a look at the Central and Midwest regions. Also in volleyball, these are opening round games that are going to take place today in the NAI. It's a 44 team, not really bracket, but a 44 team field and then you get through these 19 opening round games then you get to pool play next week talk about some opening round games in the nai and volleyball really quickly from the midwestsports.net footprint indiana northwest versus ottawa haskell taking on jamestown today texas wesleyan at mcpherson wiley and oklahoma city matching up and bellevue against trinity christian let's look at the volleyball we'll see who comes out of those opening round matchups to make it into pool play and we'll talk about that next week on Midwest Sports Saturday. Now let's talk some football because uh, we have football going on around me right now. Division II football from Super Region 3, Washita, the Tigers at 11-0 get the first round by. So they'll be hosting next week and we'll go on to play the winner of Fort Hayes State and Indianapolis. That's taking place at UND today. The 3-6 matchup is a battle of the Titans. And you want to talk about two programs that have just dominated over the last 20 years. Northwest Missouri State, the sixth seed. I know, it sounds funny. The Bearcats are the sixth seed. Taking on three seed Grand Valley State. That's going to be today. These two teams have combined for 16 national championship game appearances. And in the last 20 years, have combined to win 10 national championships. The Bearcats with six. Grand Valley State with four, so two of the most dominating programs in Division II in the last 20 years. Well, only one is going to move on after today, and that team will take on the winner of two-seed Ferris State and seven-seed Harding. The Bisons moving into the playoff picture. Also, in the NAI, opening round of NAI football playoffs begin today, and from our MidwestSports.net footprint, six of the eight games will be featuring a team from the Midwest Sports region from Iowa, from Kansas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Missouri. Rocky Mountain taking on Morningside today. Morningside, the top team in the country. Baker at Bethel, Tennessee. It's Baker, Kansas, not Bethel, Kansas. Baker at Bethel, Tennessee today. Dickinson State at Northwestern. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. Langston at Kansas Wesleyan today. That's in Salina, and that should just be a classic game. Cumberland's at Benedictine, and Grandview taking on St. Francis today. So. That is a look at the NAI football picture. We'll talk about that a little bit more next week as well and see how some of these games shape out again. Big one in Salina, I think that one's going to be huge. Now behind me really quickly, I am at the University of Tulsa. And this is one of the biggest matchups in all of the state of Oklahoma, probably the region. Max Preps has our opening game here today as the biggest rivalry in the country. It's Jinx, it's Union. It is the Backyard Bowl, and it's for a state semifinal today. Often these two teams play for state championships. As a matter of fact, between Jinx and Union, 
for a 21 year stretch, one of the other one in Oklahoma's largest class. 21 years from 1996 to 2016. Owasso broke it up last year, and that is the nightcap here, Broken Arrow and Owasso. So I'm gonna have lots of fun today. You can watch those games at the NFHS Network, nfhsnetwork.com. So it's a privilege to get to be on the call for that. In the meantime, it's been fun, Midwest Sports Saturday, and we'll see where we are next Saturday morning. I want to say thanks to Keith Brown for being a part of my crew today. It's always a privilege and a pleasure to get to work with him on the things that, that go on, uh, all of the broadcasts, the JBM production crew as well, and a shout out to Jason Moyer and the JBM production crew. I'm Joey McWilliams. This has been Midwest Sports Saturday from the University of Tulsa. God bless you, everybody. Have a great day.